And then I saw the camera, and <laughs> I realized it was yours. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to go down here, man. Okay, man, you have a nice day, hey, man. Hey, keep on doing what you're doing, bro. Oh, man, Lord willing. Yeah. Ooh, the water you have by see me, I was shy. saying, you know, I opened up the Apocrypha and they came to the book of uh, Solomon, the Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 3, and verse uh, 7. Well, I could even start at 5, but we're going to get 7, we'll jump back to 5. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 7, it says, and in, and in, that, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. And what's that? That's spiritual powers from uh, you know, our Lord and Savior, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we're going to start it off by giving our praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rikak Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. You know, uh, let me bend this camera down just a little bit. So, so yeah. And that's beautiful, man. So let's let's read that again. This is book of wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter three, and verse seven. It says, "And in that time of their visitation, they shall sign, they shall sign, shine." So the Most High is gonna give the men of the Lord, the elect, their spiritual power, man. That's what's coming, man. You know, to the Most High's people, man. You know, only the elect of the Most High's people. The, the election is for, uh, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the, uh, Native Americans, you know, uh, but out of that elect number of people, it's going to be a, 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 a remnant of that 144,000, you know, that one-third that the Most High talked about, you know, which two-thirds of our people shall be cut off and die, thus said the scriptures, man, thus said the Holy Scriptures, you know. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 3, verse, let's jump back up to verse 5. It says, and having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. Woo. Now, what's chastened? Chastened is, uh, you know, uh, uh, correction, being corrected, uh, you know, by our, 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 our spiritual power, man, or uh, uh, our spiritual Lord and Savior, man. How about Shimei Abishai? So the Lord is definitely going to chastening us, you know? All right? And he said, uh, they shall be greatly rewarded. You know, and that's the reward we all look forward to, right? It says, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. See, the elect. The Most High has uh, uh, found them, uh, you know, worthy for himself, man. It says, as gold as in the furnace had been tried them and received them as a burnt offering. See, gold is tried in the fire, man. Okay? Gold is tried in the fire to, you know, you know, to purify it from all the impurities, man. Okay? It says, let's read it again. It says, in that time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. And that, you know, and that's that spiritual power, man, you know? that the Most High is going to give his men, you know. Lord willing, I'm one of those men, you know. When you become, when you, you know, come into this truth, that's, you know, that's one of the main things you will, you know, you will want to have, you know. You know, that's, uh, that's a beautiful reward, man. You know, for the Most High to, you know, uh, to reward you with the, with, with the spiritual uh, power, man. Okay? Man. And we in those times, man, because there's one major uh, prophecy to happen. One major prophecy, and that's the mark, man, the mark of the beast. That's coming. That mark is coming, man. You see? 
because you can pretty much you can look through throughout the uh, you know the information that's being put out in the earth that you know um, money is being thrown around left and right, man. You know they printing money left and right. So what uh, what they're printing of the money is the money is gonna be devalued. Money is gonna be devalued. You see, and then what? They want you to be uh, uh, numbers on the computer. You see? Uh, give me one sec. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on, right? Let's read that again. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three and verse. Let's let's go. Let's start at seven again. It says, "In that time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stone." You see? Now, what way you can only run through spark like like that? Through stubble, like a spark, like through stubbles, man. Okay. That's, that's, you know, you know, that's uh, uh, running in milliseconds, man, you know. Like they say, they have the horsepower where it says five seconds, uh, 60. You can run, uh, uh, you know, cars run like 60 in five seconds, you know. Now that's fast, but sparks among the stubble is like milliseconds, man. Okay, seconds, man. Or, 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 or seconds, you know. A uh, 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 burst of, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? The speed of sound. You know, which is that is that's faster than the speed of sound. Verse eight, it says. Well, let's get let's get a precept. This is uh, I'm looking for. Let's get a precept to that verse. Uh, Isaiah forty. And 31. It's a lot. I wrote it down. Uh, I, the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, and verse 31. Uh, let's start at 29. It said, he, Well, let's start at 28. It's a lot. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power? The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the creator of the ends of the earth, faint not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You know, and a lot of people, there's no searching out the Lord's understanding. Because people don't see and understand that, you know, what the Lord has, uh, uh, they, you know, they try to figure him out, you know. There's no figuring out uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Verse 28, uh, it's like it. verse 29 says, this is the point. It says, he giveth power to the faint. Now, who's the faint? The faint are, are the uh, the Israelites that, uh, uh, you know, had that, you know, the, the, the poor, basically. The poor of the people, the poor of the nations, man. We are the faint, man. Okay? Verse, uh, let's read that again. Isaiah chapter, what's that, 40? And verse uh, tw uh, 29, it said, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. See? Now, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American have no might in this kingdom, man. Now, all other nations, they have all these things. They have military forces. They have military might. But you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have no faith in this kingdom, man. You see, we have no, 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 Salaki. We have no fight. We have no military force. That's why the Most High, high called His people, you know, the faint of this world, man. You know, it said, um, it said He giveth power to the faint, which are you so-called uh, uh, Israelites, uh, uh, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But a remnant, you know, the elect, 
that the Most High is going to give power to. It says that to them that have no might, he increases strength. So us having no might, the Most High is going to increase the strength in, the, in these times, man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 30, it says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, shall renew their strength. See? The Most High is going to allow his, his, his remnant or his elect to renew our strength, Lord willing. You know, we're going to renew that, that strength, man. The spiritual, you know, strength. And it says, uh, it says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. See? Those will be the spiritual powers in these end times, man. You know? Uh, yeah. Let's go back to the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, verse 8, it says, They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. See? That's what's coming to the whole earth, man. This right here is what's coming to the whole earth, man. Because right now the earth, like Job, uh, the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24, it says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. Now who's running the earth right now, man? The elite of uh, 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 so-called Illuminati, you know, the uh, you know the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, and the Gettys, you know, starting with the uh, Rockefellers, I mean the uh, Rothschilds, they running the earth right now, man. And it's in wickedness, man. You see, they do all these things behind closed doors. They, you know, they uh, sacrifice uh, uh, little children that comes up missing. They're being sacrificed, you know. They drink blood from these little kids, man. You know, they're scammed, you know, and the adrenochrome that uh, uh, would get in the blood and they would drink the blood. They'll get high off of the blood, man. You know, and the scriptures tell you that you're not supposed to, you know, drink blood. But we know these illuminary ones of this, this earth are, are part of the uh, the wicked, man, are the wicked. You see? They playing their part, man. Hey, this whole thing is the uh, Most High's movie, man. You know, in a movie you have the righteous and you have the wicked, man. See, right now the wicked is running the earth, man. Okay? It says, let's read that again, the book of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, they shall judge the nations. See, the Most High is going to give, you know, his 144,000 the dominion over the earth, man. You see? The dominion over the earth. We're going to tell people what to do, man, what not to do. You see? This is what the Most High is going to do for, you know, the elect of his people, man. We're going to be judges over the whole earth, man. The whole earth is going to be in subjection under Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the men that he set up, man, with the government, uh, governing bodies, man. Okay? It says uh, they shall put their trust to lock it. It said they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall reign forever. It says, verse 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be uh, fa uh, faithful and love shall abide and shall abide in him for grace and mercy is to the saints man see grace and mercy is to the saints man see the church will tell you that the saints are the people that go to church man the saints are the Israelites man there's no such thing as a uh, what they call a spiritual Israelite. In order to be an Israelite, man, you have to come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's what makes the true Israelites, man. That's just like me saying I could be a, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual white man. And that's that's a total lie, man. There's no way you could be a spiritual Israelite. You have to be born an Israelite, man. You see? You have to be born an Israelite. See, people in the church are, are the biggest hypocrites on earth, man, to tell you you could be a spiritual Israelite. 
That's just like saying a white man can be a spiritual black man. And that's a lie, man. You see, you have to be born, man. You come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, that uh, uh, the Lord said he had not done away with no nations, man. So the people that of the Bible are still walk this earth today, man. You see? Uh, let's read that again. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. See, and, and, and that's another cut, man, for the church. The church will tell you that color doesn't mean anything. Cousin, color doesn't matter. Why don't color matter? If you fill out an application to get a job, what they ask you, what's your nationality? You know, and it means everything, man. Your nationality means everything, man. You see, if you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite, come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know you have a chance, man, at salvation. No other nations, man. All these other nations have put you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, and uh, uh, in, in, in slavery, man. Like it say in the book of Psalms uh, 83, all the nations that come together, man, to put us in slavery, man, to make us forget our true nationality, man. They say we are black. They tell us we Negroes. They tell us uh, we niggas. They tell us uh, 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 we African American. When the African, a uh, true African American, is a Canaanite, he comes from uh, the lineage of Ham, man. Read it, and the scripture tell you, man, that uh, Ham comes from uh, 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 the nation nationalities of all these other Africans, but we, it says, not the Negroes, man. It says not the Negroes. Oh, see, let me, let me pull that up. Give me a sec. All right, uh, we're going to look up Ham. This is the descendant of the so-called Africans, which are the Canaanites. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. You can see I got it highlighted in this. Uh, this is the, you know, the compact, uh, Zondervan compact uh, Bible dictionary. And as you can see, I got it highlighted as, you know, down here where it says Ham, and I'm going to read it. And Ham is the descendants of the so-called Africans, right? It says Ham. It says the youngest son of Noah probably, it says born probably about 96 years before the flood. See, this is one of the sons of Noah. Noah. It says uh, 96 years before the flood and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. See, you so-called Negroes are not African-Americans, man. African comes from Africa, uh, uh, Scipio's Africanus. And uh, America's, uh, America's uh, Vespucci, man, if I'm saying the names correctly, you know? These are two uh, Roman uh, 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 sailors, I believe, and they're, they're so-called white men, you see? They c c continue to keep you uh, dumped down. They continue to keep us dumped down, man. But it, it's a, uh, <laughs> it just looks funny. When you see a man out here uh, uh, speaking at the top of his voice, to think that he's, you know, he's a he's a lunatic out here. You see? But we do read, man. Okay, so let's read that again. Coming out of the uh, uh, Zondervan Compact Dictionary, it says Ham. It says it says the youngest son of Noah, probably born 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live throughout the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, see? You so-called Negroes are not Africans, man. The Africans are Terry, they have nothing to do with us, man. You, you can look at them, man. We may have somewhat the uh, com same uh, complexion, but we're not Africans, man. You see? Yeah, we're not Africans, man. You see? A uh, 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 Canaanite will uh, tell you from Africa 
he'll come over here and tell you he has nothing to do with us. You see? He has nothing to do with us. You see? And, and we don't have the same mannerism as an African, man. You see? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not Africans, man. You're not Africans. You're Israelites, man. Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is the language we spoke in that time, man. You see? You better get it right before the Lord comes and repent and come back to this true, your true nationality and how you're supposed to uh, go, uh, conduct yourselves in this earth, man. You see? If you don't conduct yourself in a righteous manner, man, the Most High is going to destroy. You see? And the church will tell you that uh, uh, our Lord is coming back to give hugs and kisses and roses, man, to everybody. And that's a lie, man. Why would the Lord come back and give hugs and kisses to everybody? When it's been a nation of people has been uh, 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 evil and wicked to one other nation of people. Just because of their birthright, man. You see? That's why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming back, man. To rain recompense throughout the earth, man. And set this earth up in righteousness, man. That's what's going to happen. The water Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. To get this uh, earth back in, in, in order, man. Because this earth needs to be in order, man. Let's continue on. It says, it says, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negro, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, Canaanites. You see? That's what, and it goes on until, you know, these different, uh, uh, what happened. You know, with uh, with Ham, okay. And the, and the reason why he was cursed because he looked upon his father nakedness, nakedness, okay. While we in it, let's get uh, let's get Edom. Now these are white scholars that put this uh Bible uh compact Bible dictionary together, you know, and the scriptures uh specifically say that they would make their tongue to fall upon themselves. Who is that day? The so-called white man. The Most High said that they would make their tongue to fall upon themselves. Okay? Uh, well, let's start. It says, uh, Edom, Edomites, it says the nation and its people who were the descendants of Esau. It says he founded the country so his name is uh, uh, equated to Edom. So it goes into the verse uh, Genesis uh, 20 and 30 through 36, uh, 1 and 8. It says the country, which was also Seir or Mount Seir. It said, which was the name of the territory in which Edomites lived. So that's what is uh, the most high set up the Edomites, man, to live in Mount uh, Seir, or Mount Seir. So we're gonna jump down to the last paragraph. We're gonna jump down to the last paragraph about Esau Edom, right? It says Edom. I can even show you what it says, and this is at the bottom of the page. You can pause it if you get a chance, you know. It'll tell you who Edom is, you know. And a lot of the people in this uh, says Edom is uh, they they say the so-called white man is Japheth, man. That's not that's untrue. You know, Japheth is uh, uh what do you call it though? Uh, Pacific, the Pacific Islanders, as they call them. You know, uh, and they was dark nations of people also. Now this is Edom. This is Edom, the uh, so-called white man. You know. Okay, it says Edom, uh, figurers, 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 so like it says, prominently the prof, in the prof, uh, prosperic scriptures as the scene of great future judgment. It says, see notable Isaiah 34 and 5 through 6, and Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from the Most High. 
You see? And why? Because Edom, Esau, uh, uh, Esau, Edom, and Jacob, you know, they, 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 uh, they are arch enemies, basically. You know. I believe it was. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the book it was in. Uh, it might be. Uh, uh, what's the name of it? It might be uh, Obadiah, where he said that he uh, uh, took the brotherly covenant or lost the brotherly covenant, man. He went against the brotherly covenant, man. So Jacob and Esau, the so-called white man and the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were once uh, brothers, man. But he broke the uh, brotherly covenant, man. You see? So that's why, you know, uh, through all the uh, things that he's done to these people, uh, the Israelites, he's going to have to pay for it. You see? That's why the Most High said the Edomites will uh, have to endure a thousand years of uh, captivity, man. Because why? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went through captivity. Yeah. So that captivity will be given back, man. Okay. Okay, let's uh go to uh what book am I looking for? I just had a scripture in my mind. Uh uh Let's go to the book of Revelations. I believe that might have been the one I'm looking for. I'm, it, it probably wasn't, but this is pretty much talking about the same thing. All right, that's the book of Revelations, chapter uh, 18. And verse 4. And this is uh, judgment. This is judgment on Babylon the Great. And Babylon the Great is America, man. The daughter of Babylon. So the daughter of Babylon, through all the, the, the atrocities, that Babylon the Great has put on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, right? Babylon has to uh, have to reap what they sow. And that I, just made me think about the, the scripture I want. It was Ephesians. Okay. All right. We're looking for the book of Ephesians. All right. I think it's a six, five, and six. A six and five. Okay. Uh, Oh, Salaka. It's not Ephesians, it's uh, Galatians. The book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. See? All of the, the uh, rape, robberies, and the atrocities that you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans had to go through, the so-called white man will have to reap what he sold, man. That's why the scripture said the so-called white man gonna have to endure a thousand years of slavery, man. A thousand years of slavery. That's why the book of Revelation said it double unto him, man. That 500 years of slavery that you're still going through to this day will be doubled by our Lord, man, Yahweh Shai, through his father, Yahweh, man. You see? Let's finish that up. Uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Life everlasting. So, like, so there it is, man. There it is. Imagine that. You know? And this is a prophecy that had come, you know? Let's go to uh, 
Revelation uh, 18 and uh, let's start at 4. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. See? Now the Most High wants his people to come out of the ways of America, man. How, what ways do the Most High want you to come out of America? He wants you to come out of America because of the, 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 the defilement that America defiled his people, man, with these, uh, these different, uh, you know, uh, legislation, their uh, laws that they have made saying that it's okay to be a homosexual or to, you know, you can do as thou will, you know? When the Most High has a specific way of his people and how they're supposed to act, man. You see? But the Most High put a stumbling block out, of, out here for a lot of his people, man. Because he know they're wicked and they're not going to get it. You know, they don't want to come out of her. It says, uh, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye, and that ye receive not of her plagues. It says, for her sin has reached the, uh, sins have reached the heavens, and the Most High, or God, have remembered her iniquity. See? The Most High have remembered the so-called white man's iniquity and atrocities that he put on you, man. You see? Even though, uh, you know, the Lord is long-suffering, man. You know? Long-suffering. So all these things that, you know, you had to go through, the Most High is going to allow that to uh, uh, reap, you know, the benefits. I mean, well, you're going to reap the, the good benefits, man, from the wicked ben uh, uh, ways that they have, uh, 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 have been doing, man. You know? And I can't, you know... It's hard. Well, yeah, I can believe it, but a lot of people are in a, 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 a dumped down state of mind that they want their enemy to be in the kingdom of heaven with them. They want the they are, they want their oppressor to uh, reap their same benefits, man. You see, Esau Edom had this is his kingdom right here, man. The, the hey, the world belongs to Esau Edom, man. You see? It belongs to him. So you think, do he bring you up by, or uh, uh, pull you up by your bootstrap and tell you, hey, man, you can be a, whatever you want to be, man. I, hey, you can reign in my kingdom with me. He doesn't say that, man. That's not his state of mind. So why would it be the state of mind of you so-called Negroes, man? Hispanics and Native Americans. You see? Why would it be? Why, why would your mind be set up like that? Revelations 18 and 6. And this is the point, man. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you. And how does she reward you so-called deep roads, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Slavery, man. That's how Esau eat them has rewarded you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, oppression. You know? And every anger that you can think of. You know? Calling you different these by words and saying that you're good for nothing. You know? So let's read it. That says, reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her, and double according to her works. It says, let's read that again. Revelation 18 and 6. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her according to her works. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. And what's the works? The works is all, all the wickedness, man. She has rewarded to you, man. So the Most High said, fill that cup and reward her double, man. So she's going to get a double shot of slavery, a double shot of oppression, a double shot of, uh, uh, you know, being racist, man. Which, you know, all that is is for your, your people, man. But the Most High is going to allow that, man. He's going to allow uh, reparation. That's going to be the true reparation of the Israelites, man. The kingdom of the Lord, man, is coming, man. 
You see? The true kingdom of the Lord is coming. And that's beautiful, man. All right? Verse, uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 7. It says, How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she, for she said it in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I'm no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And you know, that's that's the that's the mindset of of, a, of you know these 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 Edomites, man. Okay, that's the mindset of Esau Edom, man. Babylon the Great, America. That's the mindset, saying thinking she won't go down. You know. And I was going to make a video. I, I, I didn't make it, but, you know, you got this video that has hit, you know, the uh, 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 the internet where you see a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, e uh, I guess it was Elon might have been in there, but, you know, Ishmael, which are the so-called Arabs, you know, they are, they are around they at this table, man. It's like a lot of nation of people, uh, you know, because... You know, they have always, uh, the Afghanistan has been split up. You know, Esau has used his tactics, as he has always used them to, you know, conquer, divide and conquer, man. So Esau, Edom has, you know, divided those nations of, uh, against each other. So now they, like, they coming back together, man. You know, they coming together, man. You know, to plot up on uh, America, man. You know, but ultimately they're gonna make a deal with Jer uh, uh, I mean Russia. They're gonna make a deal with the Russians. You know, to destroy America, man. You see, that's what's gonna happen. That's gonna be the ultimate, the uh, the end all be all. You see, that's what they. That's that's the uh, uh, this. That's the conclusion of the matter, man. For America, man. America will be destroyed by ICBM missiles, man. So it's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent, you see, before it's too late. You see? And before that nuclear destruction hit America, it's going to be a major race war, a civil war. It's going to be a famine of food and water. You see? It's going to be straight pandemonium here in America, man. You see? Repent before it's too late. You see? That's what's coming to America, man. Woo, Revelation 17 and 16. It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast shall hate the whore. And these are uh, the rest of the, uh, what's that, the EU. The European Union, man. Uh, or NATO. Eat you. It says, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. See? Now, how is that going to happen? That's going to happen by ICBM missiles, man. Intercontinental ballistic missiles is coming to America, man. When you see hell and destruction throughout the earth, man, which you're seeing that now, man. Everywhere you look, man, the Lord said he visited the earth by, you know, a storm and tempest, man. You've been seeing storms and tempests all over the earth, man. Every nation that the Lord has visited, man, before he has, it makes his uh, uh, final curtain call, as they say. You see? That final curtain call will be ICBM missiles, man. When the, when the Lord, uh, 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 you know, ascend uh, uh, his, his men into the, uh, you know, the chariots, man. And the chariots are what? The chariots are what they call uh, 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 UFOs or uh, uh, what's the name of the other name they've given them? Uh, UFOs and UAPs, Unidentified Flying Phenomena, something to that. Uh, area Phenomena. UAPs, Unidentified Area Phenomena. You know? It says, uh, for the most high, or God, for God had put in her heart to fulfill his will. 
and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. See, the words of the Most High has to be fulfilled, man. You know, like the scripture say, hey, my, uh, uh, my words shall not go out void. Everything that's in these scriptures, man, will come to naught, man. It will come true, man. These things will come true. All right. Verse 18, Revelation 17 and 18. It says, And the woman which thou sawest is the great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. See, that's showing you and letting you know, man, that this is not an actual woman, man. You know, the scriptures is matter, a lot of metaphoric or, or, or parables in the scriptures, man. All right. And who, who rules the earth, man? You know, the so-called white man, which, uh, uh, you know, uh, they put America as the forefront, you know, the forerunner, you know? All right, let's. All right, uh, we go we're back to the book of wisdom of Solomon. Uh, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse, uh, let's read verse 9. It says, uh, it says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, the truth. See? You put your trust in him, you will know the truth, right? It says, uh, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he shall care for his elect. So the most high's elect going to be cared for by him, man. All right? Verse 10, it says, But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which the elected, which, which, have, which have neglected the righteous and forsake the Lord. And hey, who is that, man? No, that's uh, 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 Esau Eater, man. That he has neglected the righteous, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and, ne and, and, and neglected the Lord, man. All right? And forsaken the Lord, Salaki. Verse 11, it says, For whoso despite wisdom and the nature is his miserable... And their hope is vain. Their labor's unfruitful and their work's unprofitable. It says their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Their offspring is cursed, is cursed, wherefore blessed is the barren that is undefiled, but had not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the vision of their soul. And that's talking, that's going into the, uh, you know, you know, the seed of the wicked, you know, which two thirds of our people are, are wicked, man. All right. All right. So, uh, all right. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and verse 29. Let's start at 28. It says, how, how shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. And this is talking about who? This is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Hashim Yahweh right? Verse, uh, verse 29. 
It says the Lord is terrible and great and very great and marvelous in his power. See? Now, if the Lord is terrible, you know, how is he going to come back and give uh, uh, hugs and kisses and save everybody? That's a lot throughout the church, man. People think that the truth has uh, has has nothing to deal with nothing, man. You know, that's the thing. The church is a stumbling block for our people, man. And all they think of is, is wickedness, man, throughout the churches, man. You see? Now, the Lord said he's terrible, man, as he punishes, man. He punishes his people, man. That's why he said he's going to punish his people first, man. He's going to punish you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans first, man, for your wickedness, man. All right? Verse 30, it says, When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for every, so for every, it says for every, even, yet when a far exceeding, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. See, that's how you're supposed to uh, uh, praise the Lord, man. But you know the church will tell you, man, you can, you know, you can, you know, go out and do these wicked things and come to church. You can do it over and over, man, and Lord will forgive you. Yeah, he'll forgive you, but uh, once you know this truth, man, the Lord will, 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 will you know. Let's get that in, uh, let's see what, what I'm looking for. Uh, I think it's 1 John. Uh, uh, maybe it's 1 Peter. The spirit. Uh, this is a uh, First Peter's chapter, chapter four, and verse seventeen. It says, "But the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the uh, of the Most High's first. So, like it. Let's read it again. First Peter's chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, or the house of God." And if if and if it first begin with us, what shall be the end? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? It says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, what shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him and well doing as unto a faithful Creator. Okay. First John chapter two and verse four. It says, "He said, I know him. He that said, I know him, and keep not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him." And that's a lot of, of our people, man. Which is just talking to you, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you say you know the Lord, but keep not his commandments. You know. You know the uh, uh, this the, this book requires you to keep the uh, commandments, man. You see? And the church will tell you what? That the church the church will tell you that the commandments are done away with. But what the scriptures say? The scripture says this. Uh, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 4 says, He that said, I know him and keep not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. It's not in him. Verse 5, it says, But whosoever will keep it, his word, and him verily is the love of the most high perfect. Whereby know we that we are in him. He that said it, he abide in him out himself. Also to walk even as he walks. So like, you walk as the most high walk. You walk, you know, uh, and, and, and do his will, man, to the best of your ability, man. All right.
Give me a second. Read this. Uh, this is Jew. Uh. Uh, verse 15 it says it says to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him these are murmurers complainers walking after their own lust and their mouth speak great swelling words, having men's uh, persons and uh, admirations because of advantage. Verse 17, it says, But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostle and our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. See? You're going to have uh, uh, ungodly men and women that mock this truth, man. They're going to say these different things against the men of the Lord. And where's your church and why you ain't got many followers? Hey, like the scriptures say, man, it's a remnant, man, that the Most High is looking for. And that he's going he's gonna to seal that, you know, the elect. You see? Second Peter's uh, chapter two. That's First Peter's one, and uh, let's start at verse seventeen. We'll jump around in that in this, in this book. It says, "For he received from the Most High the Father honor and glory when they." When there came such a voice to him from the edge of the glory, this is my beloved son, in whom I am very well pleased. Uh, verse eighteen, and this voice which came from heaven was heard when we were with him in the holy mountain. In the holy mountain, it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy, where unto ye do well. That we that ye take heed as unto a light that is shining in a dark place until the day of until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart and that's the spirit. So there's no private interpretations with these scriptures, man. You see, verse twenty. It says, knowing this verse. That no pro uh, prophecy of the scripture is in any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in the old times by the will of man, but holy men of the most high strength as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. See? And that's that's completely different, man. You know, man could write the scriptures, but this uh, it comes out, it has to be holy men that was moved by the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Uh, Second Peter's two and one, it says, "But there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, whom privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction." You know, and that's talking about the leaders of a lot of these Israelite camps, man. You know? That the most high say he brought them through that, man. You see? Verse 2 it says, And many shall follow their pernicious ways 
by reason of whom the way of the truth shall be even spoken of. And you know, and that's and that's a lot of that goes on in the church, man. That this truth is evil. Spoken evil of, man, because now, no matter how much, you know, uh, uh, we tell our people in these uh, so-called Baptist churches, man, that the church is going off and, and they're being wicked, man, that they, they, they are being set up, they are set up through the, you know, the government, man, with, uh, uh, you know, when the church uh, uh, sets up, man, they have uh, this thing called a 501c3 charter, which, you know, that links them with the government, and they consistently got, got a law that says that there's no, uh, shouldn't be tied in with gov uh, uh, what is it, religion and state, uh, church and government, something to the extent, you know? But that's the devil for you, man. You see? Uh, let's go to the book of Psalms. All right. Psalms chapter 50 and verse uh, 15 it says and call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver thee and thou shalt be thou, thou shalt glory glorify me and that's talking to, to the elect man the elect will go glorify the Lord and the Lord will you know uh, uh, save thee man it says but unto the wicked the most high said it what has thou to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take it my covenant in thy mouth? You know, it says, Sin, thou hatest instruction, and cast my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consented with him, and hast been partakers with the adulterers, and givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue framest deceit. You know? And that's the two-thirds of our people, man. You know, they latched on to uh, the so-called white man's uh, philosophy, man. You see? There's a judgment with that, man. The scripture tell you, man, go hand in hand that uh, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. So all the rape, robbery, and murder that the so-called white man has done to our people, man, the Most High is going to make them uh, be accountable for that. You know? There's no such thing as a devil uh, uh, being good now, man. You know, there's no such thing as a good snake, man. You know, eventually that snake is going to bite you. You know, and that's what the scripture was talking back in the book of Gen uh, uh, Genesis, man. When uh, Eve was talking to a serpent, man. That serpent was the spirit of the so-called white man. You see? Smooth words, man. All right. This is Psalms 55 and verse uh, verse 20. That say he had put forth his hand against such that be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. And you know, and the covenant that Esau Edom has throughout the earth, man, he had broken it. That's why you see them uh them uh them Afghanistans uh and uh you know the, 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 people are from uh, Iran and all these nations that are over in the Middle East, man. You know, they come, they, they, they're tired of Esau either. You see? They hated the whore, like the scripture said, Revelation 18 or 17. It's like, it says, verse 21, it says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they drawing swords, you see? And that's the so-called white man for you, man. His words are smoother than butter, but war is in his heart, man. You see? That's what's coming to America, man. A race war, civil war, a famine of food and water. And these, all these things, man, are coming to uh, uh, the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why we out here to tell our people to repent. 
before it's too late, man. That's what's on the table, man. Repent before it's too late. Because the Most High said, when you call upon him, he's going to laugh, man. Let's get that. That's Isaiah. Uh... Is that Isaiah? Uh, uh, which one I'm looking for? Uh, Oh, here it is. This is Isaiah chapter 1. And verse uh, 15. It says, When ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye spank, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear you. Your hands are full of blood. See? And this is the most high talking to his people, man. Because when the Most High said, uh, 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 seek, seek him while he's near, man. You're supposed to seek him, man, and get closer to him. Ask for, you know, forgiveness of your sins, man, before it's too late. Because judgment is coming, man, throughout the earth, man. Mainly here in America, man. Because America has always been the, uh, that, that virgin daughter, man, that hasn't been touched, man. The Most High is going to allow this wicked, uh, this wicked spirit to uh, engulf Babylon the Great, man. You see? The Most High is going to allow Babylon the Great to get touched, man. You see? Uh, let's see what else. I, 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 that's a good one, but I wanted the one in. But only the most high's elect have been gonna be saved in those end times, man. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that a remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. Smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. You see? The Most High is going to allow that, man, for his remnant to be saved in the end times. Verse 21. It says, The remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. It says, For thou for thou, that though thou people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The uh, consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. See, only a remnant of the Most High's people are going to come back to this truth and understand it, man. Okay. Uh, Okay. As verse 23, it says, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, of hosts, should make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, of hosts, my people that dwelleth in Zion, be not afraid. For the Assyrians, he shall smite thee with a rod and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt. See? This is what's coming to America, man. You see? It's this All this wickedness is coming to America, man. You see? That's why the Bible calls America, you know, uh, the daughter of Babylon, or the virgin daughter of Babylon. Because America has never been touched by, you know, other uh, uh, these other nations, man. You see? All right. And Egypt is synonymous for bondage, man. And we're still in that uh, state of mind. 
you know, that bondage state of mind. You know, we still being oppressed, man. We still been held held captive here in America, man. You see? Let's read on. It says verse 25. It says, For yet a very little while, and the indignation shall shall cease, and my anger and their destruction. And the Lord Yahweh of hosts shall stir up a scourge for him according to the slaughter of the, uh, the Medians and the rock of the Oreb. And as the rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift up, lift it up after the manner of Ezra. Verse 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders and his yoke, and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So, and people always think that this yoke is, uh, 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 is on everybody else's neck. This yoke is on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans' neck, man. You see? You can look up a yoke of iron, you know? Like uh, the apostle always say, man, you can look up this uh, word yoke in the Bible and you're going to see the yoke of iron on the so-called Negro's neck, man. This yoke of iron is a, uh, was part of the slavery, man, that our people had to endure. Because why? We had to endure that because uh, our people, you know, we, uh, we went against the Lord, man. We started worshiping everything but the Lord. That's why that yoke of iron, uh, why we had to go into slavery, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 tells you that, man. You know? That you would be sent, uh, uh, you would be, uh, uh, let's get that. I didn't really want to get it, but we out here, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, what is Egypt? Egypt is anonymous for bondage, man. So the Most High is going to put the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American into slavery again, man. Now, you read through the scriptures, the Israelites, which are you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, have been in bondage throughout, you know, all of these nations that are on this sign had the Israelites in, in captivity, man. So this is what uh, our Lord is coming back for, man. You know, he's coming back to rain recompense on these nations that had us in, in bondage, man. These are the true, uh, uh, the Lord's uh, people, man. You know, even two thirds, eventually, that, uh, that, 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 that spirit of wickedness is gonna, uh, you know, gonna be off of them in the kingdom, man. When the kingdom is established, man, you know? But they have to go through their punishment, you know, because of their wickedness, man. Right along with the rest of the heathens. It says, uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, man. Okay? Now the church will go uh, try to dance around and, and say, you know, different uh, uh, things about this scripture, saying this, not talking about that, you know. But this is the Lord's movie, man. You know? Yeah, this is the Lord's movie, man. That's why they, this, uh, uh, That's why you see uh, a director that has a movie script. It's, it's, it's taught like the scriptures that's in the scripts. That's why they, they, they named it, man. And this is the Lord's movie script, man, that's, that happened. That, that, that some prophecy that hadn't happened yet, man. That's why we come out and prophesy and tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent before it's too late. You see? Now, even though the elect is going to be saved, the Most High is going to try us. Lord willing, I'm one of those, that, that number, that's going to be tried as uh, gold is tried in, uh, in, a, in adversity, you know, and through the furnace, man. So like it for... Uh, chopping it up like that, but you get what I mean. Okay, it says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way of 
I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Now you look that word up by in the uh in the Hebrew is it has redeemed. No man shall redeem you. You know, Malcolm X couldn't redeem, you know, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. See? Martin Luther King couldn't redeem you. Okay? None of these nations could redeem. Only person that could redeem you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the Lord, man. Yahweh by Shimei Shah. That's the only nation that, that the Most High said, you know, no man shall redeem thee. That's why he said that, because he's going to do the redeeming. All right. This is Nahum chapter 1 and 3. Chapter 1 verse 3. The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and would not at all acquit the wicked. You see? Now pursuant to uh, Mel uh, what's that? What's that? book of Micah of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4 it tells you who the wicked is in the earth, man. Two thirds of our people are the wicked but you know mainly the, 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 the head house of the wicked, you know, is the so-called white man, Esau Edom. That is the wicked. That's why the most uh, high says in the verse uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, he says, ye shall be sold to your enemy, man. You see? The so-called white man is the enemy of the Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, man. You see? It's not a hard thing to understand, man. And we're in these times of where the Most High is about to judge the earth, man. He's about to judge his people first, man. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans pursuing to, um, uh, I think it's First John. Uh, uh, forgive me if I'm not uh, uh, saying it right, but he said he would, and I read it earlier, he said that he would uh, begin, judgment would begin at his house first, man which are the Israelites, man. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The judgment would begin at his house first, man. That's why you're going to see our people, man, uh, uh, laid out in the street, man, in this time coming. And now you see judgment has has pretty much been amped up, man. You know? Through all these uh, different judgments, man, throughout the earth, man. And a lot of people think, you know, that, uh, uh, that, 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 that the devil does these things, man. The most high sanctioned judgment on our people, man, through, you know, on the left-hand side, man. You know, that's why the most high tell you, he said, I kill and I make a lie. The most high does these things, man. Why? Because of our people being wicked, man. You know, breaking all statutes, laws, and commandments, man. Which a lot of the commandments that our people break coming out of Magic City Grill is to you know, uh, eat these abominable foods, man. We're not, can't, we, you Israelites cannot eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, and catfish, man. This is an abomination, man. Okay? It says, the Lord, Yahweh had in his, had in his, had his way in the whirlwind, and in the storm, and the clouds, the dust of his feet. You see? And these are different storms that the Most High is. Uh, uh, is, is this is the way the Most High say he visited the earth, man, through storms and tempests. You see? And he said he's slow in anger, man. You know? Because if he was quick to anger, man, there'd be a lot of people dead, man. All right? Uh, Nahum chapter 1 and 9. It says, What do ye imagine against the Lord, Yahweh? He will make an utter, he will make an utter end, and affliction shall not rise up, and the set uh, rise up the second time. For while they be folding together as thorns, and while they are as, are drunken as drunkards, they shall be the uh 
devour as stubble fully dry. You see? And this thing won't rise up again once the Lord takes America out of its wickedness, man, by destroying it. You see? It won't rise up again, man. Okay? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans must repent before the end comes. You see? Judgment is coming, man. All right? They in one and eleven, and there is one come out of the, uh, out of thee that imagined evil against the Lord Yahweh, Bashimi Shai, a wicked counselor. And we all know who the wicked is, man. The wicked is Esau, Edom, man. The twin brother of Jacob. You see, that has no pigmentation. All right. Verse twelve it says, "Thus said the Lord Yahweh." Through they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted thee, I will, uh, I will afflict thee no more. You see? That affliction was put on uh, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? The Most High said he would not afflict us anymore. You see? And that's a, uh, that's a, uh, you know, that's a prophecy, man. Because right now our people are still being afflicted, you know, because why the wickedness of our people, man? Verse thirteen. This is another prophecy, right? That says, "For now will I break ye, break his yoke from off thee, and will burst the bonds of sunder." You see? And that's what it is, man. So we're going to get ready to uh, wrap it up. Uh, I'm an hour and 18 minutes in. Uh, Let's go to the book of Job. This is Job chapter 20 and verse uh, 3. It says, I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding caused me to answer, knowing this not of old since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. Now, who is the hypocrite? The hypocrite is the uh, Edomites, man. Okay? The so-called white man is known as the wicked. He is the hypocrite of the Bible, man. All right? It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? And this is uh, the judgment on Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. You see? After his thousand years of uh, captivity or his hardcore bondage. Verse 8, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Woo, that made me think about Isaiah chapter 13. Let's get that. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. 13 and 14. It said, It shall be as a chaste robe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own land. Beautiful. There's a Jeremiah 16, 15, 16. Okay. As Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 16 it says, Cut off the sword from Babylon, and, and him that held the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall they shall turn everyone. 
to his own people, to his people, and they shall uh, flee every one to his own land. Now, people, you know, a lot of, uh, I heard some other guy said that people are not going to go back to their own land, but I don't know how true that is, man. The scriptures say everyone should go back to their own land. They're going to, there might be, still going to be some heathens here, you know, in America that's not going to be able to go back to their own land. Or, or maybe they might be able, but they're going to stay here, man, and try to weather the storm. Okay? They're going to try to weather the storm like the storm in uh, 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 New Orleans, man, Katrina. And what happened? Okay? All right, let's finish that off. Job chapter 20. All right, 20. Job, Job chapter 20. Yeah, man, so we in that time, man, where the Most High is going to uh, uh, set up the threats, man, to uh, uh, destroy his people, man. So you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans re must repent before it's too late. That's why the Most High said he's going to not listen. When you when you break his prayer or his mercy, he's going to laugh at you. And it's going to be a well worth, worth laughing, man. Because the men of the Lord were out here, you know, being fishers of men to tell his people to repent. But, you know, it said his counsel let not. All right, Job chapter 20. Uh, verse 10. It says, his children shall seek to please the poor. And his hand shall restore their his hand shall restore their goods, and that's a uh, future prophecy, man. All of the gold that the Rockefellers or the uh, well, not the Rockefellers, but I think it was uh, the Rothschilds that had like a, a safe full of gold, man. They're gonna return that stuff, man. Which all of, all of those goods will uh, belong to the Israelites anyway, man. The Israelites are the poor nation on this earth that has no representation. You know, and these different councils that they set up in the government, man. You know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Every nation has has a, a word, a, a, a voice in these different meetings, but you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, man. So the Most High is going to send his son back, you know, to reign recompense throughout the earth, man. Recompense throughout the earth. On everything that has been done to his people. Okay? And it says, uh, verse 11, his bones are full of the sin of their youth, of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. His bones are, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, with, of the sins of his youth, man. You see? All these things that they have done to our people, man, the Most High is going to avenge his people, man. This is true recompense, man. There's nothing that this government can give you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, to justify the wickedness that they have done and placed upon God's chosen people. Nothing but to get back in slavery or to go into slavery, you know? Slavery is coming back, man. But it won't be us in slavery. It'll be the so-called white man in slavery and the rest of the nation that has oppressed his people, man. You know, the so-called white man, the the the, uh, the Chinese, all these nations had us in, it's 18 nations on the earth. And 17 of them had us in, in captivity. And the one nation that's above all nations upon the earth, uh, uh, you know, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, God's chosen people. But you got house Negroes around here that want to share, you know, uh, the, the kingdom with these other nations, man. Why would you want to share your kingdom with these other nations that have dogged and oppressed you, man? 
F that, man. These nations are going into slavery, man. Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. You know? But it's so many of uh, uh, our people uh, thinking that, hey, man, some of them good, it was set up like that, man. You have nations of people that are Israelites that don't look like a so called black Hispanic and Native American because the Lord said he would scatter us throughout the four corners of the earth. So you're going to have nations of people that look like the nations that they were scattered to. You see? But God's chosen people are the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. And only one-third of his people, man, will, uh, will endure in these last times, man, because God's getting ready to judge the earth, man. He's getting ready to judge it, man. And judgment don't come always from the heaven. The Most High put the Spirit on different people to, to, to slay other people, man, to be to kill other people, man. That's judgment from the Lord. The Lord set all that up. Let's get that, man. Let's show everybody how the Lord uh, 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 judges throughout the earth. It's judgment. Like they say, six million ways to die, choose one, right? That's judgment from the Lord, man. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 32. Uh, I think it's 32 and uh, 7. 37 or 39, so like it. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am he. And this is uh, God speaking, man. It says, See now that I, even I and he, and there is no God with me. It says, I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See? So if the most high has your number for you to be a, a, a slave in these times, that's like he said, there's no matter of a, a, a help, man. You know? When the Lord has your number, it's over, man. That's, hey, that's like the scripture says, uh, 2 Thessalonians, it says, uh, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade many, man. And the scriptures tell you, man, that the Lord is terrible, man. Man, the Lord ain't no joke, man. The Lord forgives, he's slow to anger, okay? Uh, 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 he forgives us. But if we can constantly uh, uh, doing the same thing over and over and over and over, Hey, man, judgment is set up for you, man. Even the righteous get judged, man. You know, and it might not be as detrimental, you know, as, as a death, but it, the Lord calls it uh, chastening, man. He chastening his, his people, man, meaning he whips his people, man, to get them back in line, man. You know? That's when you know the Lord is dealing with you, man. You know? How much if your how much if your earthly father will, uh, will uh, chasten you or whip you? How much more would your heavenly father do the same, man? You see, our people, you know, if you don't know, the dietary law still stands, man. We're as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are not supposed to eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, catfish. All these things are abomination to us, man. It's, a, it's filthy, man. Filthiness, man. And all those foods I named, uh, uh, it, 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 it kills you. Huh? Yeah, man. Hey, that's why you see Big Mom in the hospital, man, with gout, getting a leg and a breast cut out, man. Because of these, uh, these foods, man, kills us, man. Now, the Lord did say we were going to eat our food, our bread devoured among the heathens. But we try to eat clean as possible. We try to eat clean as possible. You know? We try our best to eat clean as possible, man. That's why we waiting on the Lord to come back, man. For the Lord to bring us, man, put us in, uh, uh, in heaven, man. Which heaven will be on earth, man. But the wicked will be in subjection, man. Which is the so-called white man. He is the chief house of wickedness, man. You see? And the rest of the nations, man, we've been in captivity under all these nations, man. And they know who they got in captivity. 
They know the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man is the Hebrew Israelite, which is God's chosen people, man. You see? God hasn't chosen everything, man. Even though, let's get it, man. God made all the nations, but he has a chosen. He has a chosen people, man. We have to repent before it's too late, man. Repent before it's too late. All right. Uh, is that Ecclesiastes? Uh, 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 let's read this again. This is to let you know how terrible the Lord is. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and 29, verse 29. It says, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. The Lord is terrible, man. And hey, listen up. Verse 30, it says, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, man. We thank the Lord for everything, man. Everything, man. You exalt him more, man. Okay? It says, for, for even yet will he far exceed and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough, man. See, you can never go far enough beside, you know, when you're praising the Lord and asking the Lord for forgiveness, man, for your wickedness, man. You see, being a homosexual is wicked, man. Sleeping with another man's wife is wicked, man. You see? There's 613 laws in this Bible, man. We keep them to the best of our ability. You know, we can't be as perfect, but the things that we can be perfect on, let's do it, man. You know? And ask for grace and mercy. Grace and mercy is only set up for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Grace and mercy is not for all the other nations of people. You see? Especially the so-called white man. He can't receive grace and mercy. He might be in the church acting like he's a man of the Lord, but the Lord tells you, man, what has thou put thy word in thy mouth, man, since thou hatest instruction? He was talking to the so-called white man, which are the Edomites of the Bible. Esau is the uh, progenitor of the so-called white man. You see? The so-called white man is uh, on the run right now, man. You see? He's on the run from judgment, man. But he, it, hey, it would be so long where the Lord, it won't be much longer for the Lord to, you know, uh, put this uh, devil in captivity, man. Under who? Under his, under his son and his, his men, which would be the elect who the Most High save in the end times are gonna, uh, uh, gonna reign, man. The whole earth, man, gonna be judges throughout the whole earth. The whole earth will be in righteousness, man. Because right now the earth is in wickedness, man. Every nation, when the uh, Yahweh Shai comes back, are going to be glad. You know, even the white folks going to be glad to be in slavery, man. Because the earth will, 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 will no longer be mourning, man. So we're going to go ahead and close it right there. Well, give me one more scripture because it's about to rain. Uh... Verse 31, it says, Who has seen him that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is? See, who can magnify the Lord as he is? Because people say the Lord, the color of the Lord don't matter when it's, it's, it's telling us the color of our Lord and Savior in uh, the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 1 and uh, 7, I believe, or 14, somewhere around there. And then it's also telling you how, how, how our, uh, our God looks. Yeah, Howard, man. In the book of uh, Daniel, I believe it's Daniel 12. I believe, forgive me for it if I'm not saying what exactly it is, but the Lord is a dark-skinned man, a so-called black man. And these other nations know that, man. The so-called white man, uh, which started with the elite Rothschilds, they know our Lord and our, uh, our God is a so-called black man. They have that image, man. That's why they talk bad upon you, man. And say you nothing and you lazy. 
You know, they speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. After all the oppression they've done to us, they speak wickedly of it, man. So we're going we're gonna to close it out right there and give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, we call Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us his truth. And shalom to the whole for elect.